Euh, on va commencer. Merci les gars. A priori, ça va se dérouler de la manière suivante. Steve et Didier vont faire un, un premier set. Ce sera suivi par une lecture de Yuko. Et Steve et Didier ont un deuxième set derrière. Euh, on fera tourner un chapeau à la fin du concert pour les musiciens. Et puis quoi d'autre Si vous ne recevez pas les infos pour... Euh, et les poètes, oui. The poet, where is the poet Ah, the, les poètes. Les poètes. Et oui, si vous ne recevez pas les infos par mail et que vous êtes intéressé, euh, au fond, il y a un papier, un stylo, vous pouvez laisser vos adresses mail. Et puis je vais laisser Steve. Lancer oui. la suite. Oh, you want me to talk yeah. Well, uh, Naomi, are you here yet? No. I'm going to kill you, Naomi. First, I want to thank Christine for running all the way home and getting something to me. I want to, you know, I first I have to thank uh, Bertrand and his amazing uh, family, his sister and brother-in-law and children and mother and for, for doing this for not just for us, but and not just for you, but for for music and poetry. And I, we were talking earlier, and it's really, really important that you can be able to do this, not just in a shitty bar or in a, <laughs> like in or, in a, or in a concert hall or somewhere that's supposed to be dignified, but in the long run, it's really not so dignified. So uh, to be able to do this in intimate spaces is is really uh, very vital yes. and particularly when people are giving it to you for no you pardon the F word no fucked up motives other than to just let you do what you want to do and and because they love love having it done yeah. um, this is my wife's birthday so Woo. I want everybody <laughs> It didn't meant to be that way. It just happened to be that. Way. It happened to be yes. that way, and uh, so she thinks. <laughs> and it's also um, I usually don't proselytize because I don't like to do that, and sometimes it's in my work, and that's an accident. But it's also uh, uh, Martin Luther King's birthday, and uh, regardless of some bad raps he's gotten in the last few years, he is responsible for major changes in America and probably in other parts of the world. And, Unfortunately, almost every vital American that's come out of America since the Civil War, and I'm sure that's happened in France as well, they usually don't live to see their old age. They just get murdered. Uh, it's just the way it goes. So we have to accept that. No, no, we don't. No, we don't have to accept it. I'm sorry. No, we, don't, not we don't have to accept it. We'll, we'll figure out how to become. We'll become shamans. We'll just become shamans and resurrect them. So, uh, um, this is my dear friend. Uh, I, you know, I always go to this crap with DDA, but. Uh, And we haven't seen each other in a while, so I don't know what to say, but this is DBA. And uh, any of you who know DBA, <laughs> and any of you who know my, uh, our relationship uh, to each other, it goes back now, oh, it seems like forever, but it's about six or so years, and uh, it's always a pleasant event to be around him, I think. You want to say anything? No. <laughs> That's yes. better that way. The first, <laughs> the, the first piece was uh, was originally written for um, Yuko's niece when she was very very young, a little older than uh, than Louise, a little bit older than Louise. And even though Louise won't get this, it's it's been uh, redone for Louise. So this is for you, Louise. For Louise, it's called the Crazy Day. One day, Louise and her friends were playing. Then the grass turned purple. And the bird began to have Louise's name on its tummy. 
Then one of Louise's friends came and started to put on a hat, and the hat started to have wings. Then Louise's flowers came out of one flower, and they grew up to the sky. Then the bird came flying with an egg in its mouth. Then a guinea pig came flying. Then a flying submarine with a pot of flowers came on. And then a dog with a baby guinea pig on its back came. And then the mother guinea pig came to pick up the baby. And then the two suns appeared in the sky. And then three suns. And then three moons. And then three stars. And then things totally got out of hand. Starts like a closed book, ends like a closed book. Mystery still unsolved. Late night wars and constitutionals, always wars and constitutionals. My damn neurosis pecking at me just like Louisa's flowers. Shining and smelling like the Adirondacks on a shineless, milky night. Damn constellations. Wow, they're all over the place. Damn life of miserly, miserly, miserable servitude. To the pettiness of being damned. Always being damned. Oh, poor, poor, insignificant poet. Lost within the treasured moments of forgetting. Forgetting. You say if you see an animal wagging its tail, you say bye bye. alphabet, swimming in tangerine juice and vodka, a pre-Renaissance Celeste, the clocks of our grandfathers still unmoved, a sea of shiny rainbow letters strung across the ceiling of the heart to say surprise as the sky closes in on Chicken Little and the sea turns a burning red. And I ask Louise, Louise, which would you prefer, fire or flood? Flying statues, clotted ears, callous lips. It's a crazy day, Louise. It's a really crazy day. Blue, purple, brown, red, yellow, green sound. Red, orange, yellow, black, white, beige sound. I am set. I am set. I am set in my ways. And I am a set of even bristled brushes waiting to be soaked. A coin session reckoning in your small room. An urn of pure intent. A truck full of angels. A truck full I feel like blue and boogie, kind of blue, angel eyes, flamingo, peacock, chameleon, blues walk.
gave her a locket with a photo of a chameleon on a leaf in it. I can't see anything, she protested. A blue suitcase, a blue tablecloth, a blue chair, a blue towel to wipe your hands on, a blue truck full of angels with bright blue broken wings, a blue bike to ride, a blue jar to fill, unfill, blue sweater to wrap you in when it's cold, a blue open gem, a background of blue for you to fade into, a blue cell, celestial blue, a response to the language of soft grasses. inside me forever, she responded. Hot flesh, skin, landmarks in the evening sky. Smooth round bird chatter, the sun itself a dark glass, the density of stars, blues, 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 that slipped right through her fingers like gold, just like gold. His eyes became shredders and the fly walk airline blues. I came from a clean neighborhood in Brooklyn Trees, a bridle path, bike path, cemetery, dead end streets, sewer to sewer, stick wall, ring the leaf wall, the candy store, the deli, the pizza place, the girls, the cigarettes hidden in the old tire in the garage, the schoolyard, a pool hall, the movie house, almost small town America. The trolley in Ebbets Field, the beach, the hot eye of summer, the sandwiches, the dreams, the fallout of dreams, supper, bath with my toy atomic submarine, TV, the dreams, the dreams, the dreams, the school color auditorium, the duck and cover, the fallout shelter signs, the endless jokes to ease our serious and nervous minds, the very atoms of our fiber when the bomb comes, you put your head between your legs and you kiss your ass goodbye, you just kiss your ass goodbye. So funny. I went to horror movies. I ate cherries from a tree in my own backyard and I swallowed those pits hoping that a tree would grow inside me. I got high. I did all the things until the fallout from all those dreams began to sting me like a snap, like a snap, like soap in the eyes. I, I still watch TV, mostly old movies. I still eat pizza and deli. I still eat cherries. Boy, do I love cherries. I pretend that I am safe and I think about the world a lot and I watch the cherry blossoms fall out and sometimes I close my eyes and sometimes I open the book. Oh, the rain. Thank you.
chasing me like the four horsemen, chasing me back to the master's snatch. I am living on borrowed digital. The glass is no longer half full, it's no longer half empty, it's just half a glass, it's just half a glass. I am underwater and being electrocuted constantly. My fast, frantic, hash-stained handwriting smears my ego beyond recognition. My ego, how much of my ego is for sale? How much of my ego is for Yesterday chases me back to the master's. Yesterday chases me back to the master's. The stations along the way lead to absolute knowledge. The city is no longer half empty, no longer half full. It's just the city. And it's my secret. And I photograph taken from different angles and the terminal of history is absolute knowledge, absolute knowledge. Absolute knowledge and esteemed libations and missed opportunities, a gust of wind at my table causing the awkward revolutionary to blush. The impact of a dead soldier on a crowd is negligible. I have to tell you, Louise, this is a really crazy day. And the key is in the collapse. The countdown toward another red planet. The cows smoking camels. The apples on the tree are pulsing crystals. The dish and the spoon have become murderers and have begun to raise a family. And all your little, all your little, all your little guinea pigs run to send it. And the house is divided, but just can't see the fall. And it's a crazy day, Louis. It's a really crazy day, I gotta tell you. gets out of the instrument. It's the sound the instrument makes. Drilling, drilling, banging, cutting, sawing. Drilling and drilling and banging and cutting and sawing. What do you think Buddy and Buddy and was like you do when they're attacked? Oh well they jump on a bird, of course. What if that what if that bird doesn't want to come down? Then you have to yell, yo bird! Yo bird, come on down from the soapbox, bird! Come on, get down off your high horse! Get off that box! Get off that horse, bird! My soapbox always soapy. <laughs> And the soap always stings out a clean, fresh breath of the thing. Oh, my soapbox. And it is getting hot in here, as you can tell by the drummer. <laughs> you can tell by the guy who keeps loosening up his tie. And I jiggle my keys and hope that a tourist will hear them. And I hope that they assume that I live close by and they'll stop me and ask me for directions. There are no more no man's lands in this city. There are no more no man's lands in this city. There are only people who don't know where they are. Mm. 
I offer help to three people on the corner of Rivington and Forsyth. What are you looking for, folks? Nothing. We're waiting for someone. Why? Do we look lost? Well, no. No, I answer. I'm lost. So I just took a walk around and asked people what they're looking for. So what are you looking for? Come on, get off your cell phones. The day starts like a closed book and ends like a closed book. The air circles us at a distance. A goddess, a goddess always coaching us with her. Coaching us and coaxing and coaxing and coaxing us with her touch. The air, a goddess. And reason is humbled by itself. A chronic storm and spasm. You look like someone I've never met, he says. The only time you'll gain enlightenment is when you discover that your metro car is filled with geniuses, she says. I almost fell asleep while dreaming, I says, as spring contended to be its all spring. What did Mr. Potato Head say to Mrs. Potato Head? Get healed! I offered her a cameo with the faces of dragons carved deep into the fine translucent jade. They look like salamanders, she said. I gave her a locket with photos of heaven in it. It just looks like air, she giggled. Come on, Louise, it's heaven. I'm in heaven. Viola, voila, cross, wicked, 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 wicked. She lifts the house above her head. It flows like rain through her fingers. It buries her, and then she filters it through her toes, and we're all whole again. One. Big, happy family. She hasn't slept for weeks, although she's been all by herself. The shores are lapidaries, the kingfishers are at odds with their own knees. It's a crazy day. divide and outgrow the country of their birth. Clouds. The way ahead is the old world born innovative. Cool has played itself out. In a pinch, I asked Louise, almost begging, Louise, how much longer do you think this is going to go on? Louise kind of looks at me sideways. And she kind of says, you're asking me? I don't know. You're supposed to be the poet. You go and figure it out. If I could figure it out, I wouldn't be standing here saying this. Blue, brown, purple, green, red, yellow sound. Blue, brown, purple, red, green, yellow sound. Yep. 
I call the future, but it doesn't answer. And the color of your eyes is the color of the sky. And I'm giving up writing in order to think. And I'm giving up thinking in order to feel. And I'm giving up feeling in order to cry. And I'm giving up crying in, in, in that order. You know, life is not a controlled substance. It's a photograph taken from different angles. It's no longer half full or half empty. It just is. It History is half empty and history half full. And I'm giving up writing in order to think, and I'm giving up thinking in order to feel, and I'm giving up feeling in order to. Yesterday chases me like a four horseman back to the masses. Back to the masses. Back to the yes. Yesterday the, the girls played baseball at Pilgrim State and I coach it with my young man's hormones. The way a jockey holds the reins at the racetrack, the four horsemen, the four Guilty eyes and hapless grins, they stare at me. The moon wraps itself not so perfectly around my clouds. It gnaws at my center. The moon, it spits me out as far away as possible. Yesterday chases me to the periphery and abandons me. I am one of many lost children, lost children that they are, the clouds. I no longer think of them as half empty or half full while we wait for tomorrow. on sleep, I'd pay it just to get to sleep. <laughs> Fingering around the climax, waiting for the end, tomorrow follows me like a guilty dog, back to the master's Kiss a stranger, melt, repeat. Invite me to your house so I can wear your face. All the rain. The one thing we inherit from our fathers is that we are their children. 
the one thing we inherit from our teachers is that we are their students. The wind blows through my face like a flame. One thing we inherit from this space is the ability to fill it. The one thing we inherit from this place is the memory of being in it. The writer is the word. The painter is the color. The wind is varying degrees as it blows through my face, chasing the clouds toward the periphery. As we walk the stairs, we inherit their direction. And our names become just words. And yesterday keeps chasing me like a four horseman. Then it stops at the door like everything else. What we inherit from the door is its flexibility. The in and the out of it. What we inherit from a broken watch is its face. Kiss a stranger, melt, repeat. Invite me to your house. For with time at a standstill, all we have left is time. 